This is where his truck was originally parked and got a real repeating signal. Check this out. There it is. All right, it is on a Tuesday. I think it's February 16th, somewhere around there. Texas is in a winter storm, the worst in my 54 years of life. So we're gonna go over and try to find a ring recovery uh, here in my town. It's not very far, about three minute drive. And I think it's a gold ring. And I'm gonna ask her, can I record this? And that way I can show this ring recovery on one of my videos that you're watching. And hopefully we can find it for because I know how wedding rings are. Because I, I lost my wedding ring one time. And I was in uh, Paris, France. And we were rushing us through the, um, the security. And, uh, and I took my ring off this time because when we were over in the previous airport, I got flagged because my ring was on. And so that I got a hand pat down. So I didn't want to do that. And so uh, I took my ring off this time, threw it in the bin, went through security, rushing down to our gate. And we got down to our gate. We waited about an hour and a half to get on the flight. And then right before the flight was going to board, I noticed my ring was not there. So I ran down about a half a mile to the security gate, asked them if I had a gold ring had been turned in. They said, yes. I said, oh, great. And so I went in there and uh, they showed me the ring. It was not my ring. So I'm walking back. My stomach was, in, you know, just in knots. And I just felt horrible because this is the only ring my wife has ever given me. And uh, I had it enlarged. She gave it to me when I was a senior in high school. And I had it enlarged and made it into my wedding band. So a lot of sentiment, a lot of years of knowing this ring. And it, I just felt sick. I just felt sick to my stomach. And I looked on everybody's hands if they were wearing it. But you know, me being a pastor and being a man of faith, I got on the plane and uh, had about a three hour flight to get to my next location there in Latvia. And I just prayed, Lord, I know it's just a material thing, but if you can ever see fit to bring that ring back to me, I would really appreciate it. So I just put my headphones on and went to sleep. I uh, got my Bose headphones and it's, and it's in a black case with black velvet on the inside. So I opened it up, took, the, took out the uh, headphones, put them on, Put the case back in the back of the seat cover, went to sleep. I heard the plane was getting ready to land. We all had to sit up and uh, put our tray tables up and all that kind of good stuff. And when I took my headphones off and I opened up that black case to put my headphones back in, there was my ring sitting on that black velvet, like on, on display. And so my ring came back to me. So you explain how it got there. I think it's a miracle of God. He answered my prayer. But my point is this, I know how this lady feels when you lose something so sentimental and so valuable to you. And because it's more than just a ring, it's your vows, it's a symbol of the vows that you make, it's holy, it's a sacred ornament, you know. And uh, so I'm going to go over there and hopefully I can find this ring and ask her if I can video her and, and uh, the whole recovery. And I hope at the end we're going to have good news and we'll have a recovery. So uh, let's get on the road. We've got to go real slow. Uh, the roads are still very snow-packed and icy, and let's see what we can do to get there. All right, I'll see you in the yard. Right, guys i'm out here on location with alex carey he's uh come to find out he was uh he graduated the same uh high school that i did in henderson just 15 years earlier uh, later than i did but i'm out here on his location and uh and he's going to tell us all about where how they lost this ring and we're going to see if we can find it so let me turn you around to him so i come out here uh you know to start our vehicles up because it was really you know i didn't want the batteries to go dead and uh i started back here and come back this way and i decided to move my truck out of the yard and I got the snow off of the top of the truck, and I'm pretty sure that's where I lost my ring at. I was, I was barehanded, and I swung the snow off the top of it, you know. And uh, uh, I, I'm guessing it swung off my swung off. So my this truck. is your wedding ring that we lost. It I was is. thinking it was your wife's wedding oh, no, ring. This is mine. All this right. Mine. I was coming out here to start the vehicles up so we didn't have dead batteries. And, and so you know. think it's going to be down here where your truck is, or is it up here? Well, it, it, there's a possibility because I started over here starting starting all the vehicles up. 
and this is right here in this ball spot is where my truck was sitting even the front of the truck was right here and i feel like this is where it's at somewhere up here but it is possible it could be up here over by the cars or down there where my truck is right well now. the good thing is we know where it's at it's in the yard right it's <laughs> so a what kind of ring was it um it's a uh it's a 18 carat uh white gold band with uh Okay. Carrot worth of diamonds on the top. Of oh wow! So it should be easy to find then. I mean, it's going to ring up good on my detector. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Because it's, sure it's just so. going to be on top of the ground. So it's going to be. We'll start in here and we'll see. Let's hope we can get that thing. And I hope I can give it back to you here in just a minute. So let's get to looking. Well, I've been searching for about ten minutes now. I kind of made my way up and down the driveway, and I was listening for like a ten tone and. Uh, and I think I found it, guys. Let me show you this. I haven't told him yet. So let me turn you around. Let me show you this. Yeah, I've just been making my way around his truck and up and down the driveway right here. This is where his truck was originally parked and got a real repeating signal. Check this out. There it is. I'm not going to pull it out until I go get him and show it to him. All right, we found it. Amen. Let's go tell him the good news. All right. I found it. Awesome. I didn't want to move it. I just found it. And it's right here where your truck was parked. And uh, there it is right there. Awesome. And there it is, folks. That's what it looks like. A beautiful gold ring. Beautiful ring, Alex. Thank you, thank you. With all those diamonds in it. And it is my pleasure to give it back to you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, we did it. <laughs> it's right here, just uh, underneath the snow, just by an inch. I mean, not even that deep. Awesome. And so uh, I knew it would be very, very shallow, but I'm glad you got it back. I, I'm glad you come and help me out. Oh, man. Now you can enjoy, you can rest and enjoy this snow now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, God bless you, man. Well, I am so glad that uh, I was able to find that ring for Alex. I actually thought it was his wife's wedding ring that we would be looking for because I didn't talk to him before. We just saw the post on the local Facebook uh, page of our town. But once I got there and met uh, Alex, it was his ring that we were looking for. And men's rings are easier to find because they're bigger. And uh, you can hear those sounds a little bit better. But I'm so happy that uh, I was able to recover that ring for Alex. I know what it means to lose a ring, as I told you before. And uh, to have that precious uh, uh, token of your love and the vows that you made to the wife that you love, it's very important. So I enjoy doing that. I love giving back. And so I'm glad it turned out to be a happy ending after all. Now, if we can get this snow to melt and I can get back out in the field doing some more treasure hunting and make some videos for you guys. Until then, God bless and happy hunting. All right, it's trivia time. Since I called my video this episode Frozen, I thought I would do the trivia out here by these three foot long icicles just outside the front uh, porch door of my church. And so the trivia is going to be a little bit different this time around. So here it goes. All right, the first one that can answer this question is going to win a PD sticker and uh, something a little bit different. So in the Disney's film Frozen, what were the two main girls, the two characters, what were their names? The first one that can answer that in the comments below is going to win that PD sticker and something special. All right, good luck, everybody, and stay warm.